Hello, good afternoon, everybody. Um, good afternoon. Maria Banga here. Uh, sometimes it's um, difficult to define yourself with any label because um, people are um, picking on labels and um, categorizing and saying motivational speakers are shit. This and that, that and that, that and that. That's why I really don't take pleasure in titles and all of those things. You know, me, I'm Mark, so um, I can carry any of them on my head, but I don't let them, you know, define me or I really don't care. You know, just call me Mark. Forget about the match and the whatever and uh, all those things. Sometimes people just whatever so this is me right and um yeah i was on a spiritual retreat for seven days and um some messages i got i didn't go i didn't go into that retreat to get those kind of messages and my goodness like no. whoa, why, why, why are you sending me this direction why you, you lack somebody to send with these kind of messages why me you know those kind of things but in my other book, the book I just finished, there was a chapter then, No More Bargaining with God. And I'm like, okay, 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 okay. And um, that's why I didn't announce this live video because I just want to do it quickly and go me so that people can watch later. People don't join me live now. So I don't have any intention of doing more than 15 or 20 minutes on this one. Like, yeah. I mean, I, I've spoken uh, kind of against men of God, women of God before um sometimes with the with a direction of like mocking at them or saying well look at you all righteous uh, pharisees hypocrites but um last month my spirit um arrested me and said no you cannot do that if you don't want anybody to to do that to you then you don't have to do this to them because you don't know their call you don't know it is for me me god to deal with them it's not for you to to do that and i think that i personally i don't want to do that again it's not it's not for me to say whether anybody is working in any way or not let god do that one it is his vineyard let him do his weeding and everything and planting and harvesting and all of that i mean each person should just go before him with their heart uh, if you're doing something and he's not happy with what you're doing he knows how to deal with you so even talking and pointing out what people are doing which is not good and stuff for me i've really come to realize it's not worth it so i'm not doing that anymore you know anybody can do whatever they want to do with their life on their pulpits wherever it's not my business so as much as he gives me messages um i really want the messages to be inspirational to be motivating to be encouraging and if anybody takes it personal and I, well, i'm sorry but i just deliver the message i get and um please i'm just a messenger so you, your your problem should be with the message not with the messenger and um that's what i've also decided to do that any message i get from anybody um i'm not looking at you the messenger I'm paying attention to the message and if I'm getting anything from the message I'm getting it. if I'm not getting anything from the message I'm not getting it but with you I have nothing personal and so all the people I stop following because their messages are whatever provocative or invasive or whatsoever well I'm not following because I don't want to listen to those kind of toxic messages but I don't have anything personal against those people like I'm not in the business of bearing grudges and calling people out and using the same kind of language people use and those kind of things i just mind my business and i just continue going on and um, as far as god is concerned well as long as it is um <coughs> it is about showing love to another person because that's my ministry love and healing as long as there's a loving attitude the show of love that is good but if it's not i don't self-service people if somebody wants me to do something and i feel like yes this is uh, revealing god's glory this is showing love to somebody i will do it but if it is about the person embracing people and singing people's trumpets i think that is why he even stopped me from this thing of doing testimonies about people you know so um i just i just 
stop that when he says stop i stop um so i would i would also really uh, want people to not focus about on me but on what i do and talk about those things not about me myself unless it is to it, it inspires you to be better um greetings dear so um this is the message he gave me he said um men of god and women of god are humans too and as humans they even are supposed to be more authentic and vulnerable because they have a they have people right that they have people who look up to them and uh, people think you have to fake it you have to have it all together you have to look so strong and everything so that people can really look at you and they're like yeah but that's the world standard right um uh, I mean, I, I, I went back to this chat with Bosman and I was like, yeah, he, he held it up that way. He put up all of that. I don't know if it's a good show or if he was strong and everything, but he was dealing with his own um, issues, right? And in the end, he went and we all know that today he was dealing with issues. Well, well, there were issues that maybe uh, get, he, he kept them away from us so that he could continue doing the things that was so full of inspiration and stuff but that was his choice um, another person will decide to share their journey with you so that you know that in all of that their greatness and everything they are still dealing with issues i make no um, secret of my issues i live with post-traumatic stress disorder that's a mental illness i once had um uh, oh my goodness how do you call this thing rheumatoid arthritis and i struggle with that um, at that time there wasn't really social media so that i can show you my day-to-day -day struggles and everything but this is me but you know each person has their own calling and all of that but anyway this was the message that especially these people who are um, in this leadership position and call themselves men of god and women of god um, you have to be more authentic and vulnerable vulnerable in the sense that let the people know that you also struggle um, in whatever area be honest don't wait until somebody calls you out or some scandal comes up and then you start saying yeah well but i'm also a human being and then you say or some people start saying touch not my anointed and those kind of things you know me i just a message eh? don't come after maria banga you can go and dig wherever you want to dig about me that's me i'm all out there so nobody can do anything with me or call my name all of those things seriously feel free but this is the message i got if you don't like it ignore it if it speaks to you take it so they are human and they should be more authentic and vulnerable so if you feel you are not authentic you know yourself now look at yourself in the mirror think about it i mean are you authentic or are you trying to put up a show uh i don't have a f f large crowd of followers so this is definitely a message i'm just going to go wherever but me god told me your business is not about who listens to the message your business is to deliver that message and since morning is like you haven't done that live yet and i'm going to do you haven't done that live yet and you haven't done. so i'm like okay let me do it quick before i go into my next zoom and i'm not going to announce it so that uh, oh okay so that is one thing the second thing is that um uh what's the second thing again oh my goodness i wrote it there i forgot it. but i wrote the three things there you know like um be authentic and vulnerable uh well another thing that he kept saying to me and he led me to some two youtubes about some pastors one of them gave up his uh, ministry altogether after several years just gave up everything and moved state and another one um did a public apology those are american pastors and was apologizing to his wife and to his children and to his church how he has lived a double life for 20 years or whatever there are many of them there you know so and there are some who also reach out to me and try to have a relationship with me and i used to ask him but why you know why are these people reaching out to me so he told me it's because i want you to know that they too are humans and they too need love they too want to be humans but because of the way they they present themselves out there it's like they have it all together so now you understand from an insider's point and then you will know how to help them he told me they need help too your clients should not only be you know ordinary people they too are ordinary people it's not because they have those titles and that's why i wrote today on facebook sometimes we let our titles and our uh, is it status and our pride and our arrogance get in our way you know uh so 
maybe that's why I'm who I am. But he said, uh, uh, they are that and that, uh, um, refrain from judging people. And that one really spoke to me. I don't, I mean, I would not, you know, everybody wants to defend themselves somehow. I'm not really one to judge people, but this particular group of people, I used to really call them hypocrites and Pharisees, and I think that's not more my business. So they can do whatever they are doing. They are not getting into my circumference. I have no business with them. I just don't go into that circumference because I don't get it. And I don't get it because they point fingers a lot or they preach. Um, they don't just preach about God. They preach about what will happen to people who don't follow God the way they think people should follow God. And uh, as long as they're not preaching to me, then I don't have a problem with them. And I'm not listening to their preaching because I don't relate with that preaching. But um, as human beings, I can relate with them. And that's something that God wants me to do so I can do that. And he says that stop talking to people about God. The, the harvest is plenty. The laborers are few. Start doing things that can show the love of God. All oh, this talk, 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 preach, 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 go tell it on the mountain. I don't know. Well, but maybe some people it's not really their call to go tell it on the mountain or it was their call onto a certain point and then they took it to make it their business like money making business or they deviated from the way they were asked to talk about it i really don't know i'm not a mystic i'm not um, i don't know so you know nobody should ask me who are you to be talking i'm a human being and i have a right to talk so you don't want the message please just move on don't don't get to Maria Banga, you know, stop at the message. If you like it, take it. If you don't want it, just go. But I will use my platform and I will say whatever I want to say. So that is it. Like all this talk, talk, talk. The Bible says, the Bible says, the Bible says, yeah. Okay. What do you do? What are you doing? What does the Bible say you should do to the list of your brethren? Right? Uh, I went out this morning to the hospital to follow up with some guy who really has a problem and he has to have a surgery and they were tests to run and everything. I haven't been to a hospital. I did not want to set foot in a hospital until the pandemic is over. But I was like, no, that's God's work. And I mean, it's like, I don't know these people, but he's deserving of that. And uh, people have already put together resources. So go ahead and do it. Just like what I want to do. People are helping. They don't know me. They don't necessarily know me. They don't know those children and they're doing that. So why wouldn't I do that too? As long as it manifests the glory of God. But if it's about, you know, singing somebody's praises and clapping and all of those things, well, that's not me, right? So, um, yeah, as I relate with, you know, God not wanting people to keep talking about him, talking, 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 preaching, 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 pointing out what people are not doing right how people are not dressing right how people and he was like yeah so that's why i want you to be doing the things you are doing because i want people to see that even in all that i'm with you so basically that is it right oh my god i'm tired it's, just, it's been draining let me go me into a meeting thank you love thank you so much for that well god bless you right <laughs> ah what a milieu what a life everything I had to call one of my big sisters this morning and cry and I'm like, oh, which assignment is this? It's just starting. Well, it has started before, but I have to take it up. You know, I've been playing around it. I didn't want to, but oh my goodness. Okay, well, so that's basically what I wanted to share now. Well, any man try best. Thanks those who joined and watched. God bless us all. <laughs>